Hello everybody, how are you doing out there? It's a beautiful day here in New York City. My name is Lani Stevens, and it's my pleasure to welcome to this show this afternoon, Dr. Injakari Damages. Welcome to a special edition of our show. My name is Dr. Damages. We're coming to you from the greatest city in the world. New York City! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's more like it. More like yes. New York City is so great that we are going straight to Nigeria from New York. Uh, expressway. No, yeah. Mm -hmm. From now until Ayo Fire Shea goes to exile. <laughs> from now until Patient Jonathan appears before the International Criminal Court. Preach. What? From now until Femi Fanny Kayode runs back to Ghana to finish his medical treatment. Yeah. From now until Bode George gets political asylum in Georgia. Wow. Ah, from now... No, 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 no. This is the wrong script now. Um, <laughs> my man, turn the page. Turn the, turn the page. Hey, turn the page. Ah, ah. From now until Rotimi Amechi secures political asylum in Albania. <laughs> from... Something is wrong. From now until Bola Tinubu returns the loots back to Lagos. Ah, in truck loads. <laughs> from now until El Rufai gives back scores of Abuja certificates occupancy. Uh, uh, who wrote this? Uh, From now until Buhari returns his reti to his retirement home in Kassi. Is Kassi. It, what, is, what is going on? Who wrote this crap? <laughs> who? Okay, okay. Now, now listen. If the world likes, let it write a love letter to Ayatollah of Iran. Mm. If they like, eh, let them mug Anderson Cooper on live TV. Mm. Uh, uh, no, that's not Anderson Cooper. Now, that's a South African writer, yeah. reporter. If Boko Haram likes, let them clone the children of ISIS. What is going on? Eh? Okay, all I'm saying is this, that for the next three weeks, we are concentrating on Nigeria until we know the next president, the next person to occupy the Asso Rock mansion. And if you think you have seen drama in this campaign, you have, you're making a mistake. The next few days, is when the great dancers will enter the stage. <laughs> oh yeah, there's plan A, plan B, now we're in plan C. Remember, less than a week after I declared Patience Jonathan as the woman who served Good Luck Jonathan's behind in this election, the woman pulled back. Is it, is it pulled back or pulled out? Anyway, anyway, what I'm saying is that she is not talking anymore. They scared her. Are you not surprised? Oh, yeah, wow. they scared her. It happened the moment APC people, you know those APC people, they threatened to send her to ICC. Whoa. ICC. Madam Peace called all her assistants and oh, asked yeah. them, which one be ICC? Wow. <laughs> Her people didn't know, well, no, they didn't want to explain, give her a long explanation of, about the International Criminal Court in The Hague and nobody could explain to her things like criminal crime against humanity and stuff like that. So what they did was they said to her, could you please watch this clip? Watch. <laughs> After which Mama P said, for what? Why would they do something like that? Eh? Just because I talked about change and that people who talk about change should be stoned. Mm. Eh? That could not happen to me. I am the wife of a president. <laughs> Then, then they told her that the woman being canned is the wife of the former president of Ivory Coast. And that after wow. she was sentenced to 20 years in jail. Wow. 20 years, yeah. To which Mama P said, oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh no, no. <laughs> <laughs> she then called a world press conference and denounced violence. Mm. She said, I hate violence. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Buhari and the APC are taking person Jonathan to ICC. And I'm warning you, Nigerians, if she ever speaks in front of the ICC, Nigeria's academic degrees will never again be accepted abroad. <laughs> because she will introduce herself and say, I am patient Jonathan, and I have BSc 
from University of Portacourt. And then she opened her mouth to speak. And they would be like, we don't want any other Nigerian right. degree abroad. Right. We are not accepting. The, if this woman has a BSc from University of Portacourt, that's it, you know? I'm just saying. Now, if Mama Peace will not campaign anymore for Jonathan, or that's well, Nigerians, this is how your country works. A former senator and a former minister of state for defense, Senator Obanikoro. You know him, he's your brother. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. he, he resigned to run for governor of Lagos State under the PDP. Okay. When he lost the primaries, President Jonathan nominated him to return to his cabinet as a minister. What? Yeah, it happened. We were, we were watching. That was when Sahara Reporters, all these bad people in Sahara Reporters, revealed that he was involved in the rigging of a Kitty election that saw Fayoshe elected president. I'm giving you history. Follow me. His voice was noted in that Ekiti tape, okay. saying that the presidency sent him to make sure that Fayoshe wins the election. Without any investigation of the allegation, President Jonathan nominated this man to be a minister. What? Oh yeah, it happened in your own country. Impossible. When the president was questioned, the first thing he said was, ah, the other audio tape was fabricated. Okay. Yeah. When it became clear that it wasn't fabricated, the president said, oh, well, there's nothing we could do unless the person that recorded it will come back here and authenticate the audio tape. Yay. I know, PhD. Yeah, <laughs> Pot wow. PhD, Potaka. <laughs> anyway, anyway, here is how Obanikoro's Senate confirmation process happened. Watch. <laughs> Watch the man as he walked into the Senate chambers. Watch him. Oh wait a minute, wait a minute. Who, who was that woman yelling at him? Oh, oh, what was she saying? Oh, that was Bola Tinubu's wife. Uh -uh. She was saying, oh, ah, senator. even, yes, yeah, Senator, even my husband is not this despicable. <laughs> Shame on you. Huh? I didn't know she could, I didn't know she could talk. Because I've not seen her talk before in the Senate. But for the first time, she's talking. <laughs> so, so the so-called Honorable Senate President, David Mack, said the following, what? The other, and I'll simply put the question, is it the wish of the Senate that Senator Obanikoro should be allowed to take a bow and go? Yeah. Those, those are going to say nay. Yeah. The eyes of it. Wow. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Watch as Obanikoro takes a bow. That's it, that's it. That is how they make a minister in your country. No they come out and they take a bow. No they come out and take a bow. He's a minister. And then he will swear to protect the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I say, yeah, yeah, they smell. Yeah, yeah, they smell. Yes. Eh? So Obanikoro is once again a minister of the Federal Republic like under, under the humble president, good luck, Jonathan. Yes. Jonathan is so humble that he dismissed all the allegations about Obanikoro, yes. the whole equity tech. And, and he added, Sahara reporters eat your heart. Oh. <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> he said nonsense. <laughs> now, you know, you know, newspapers publish stories about these political actors and readers often, they get the wrong impression about these people. But when you watch them speak, all the doubts will disappear. Uh -huh. Here is a Kitty State Governor, Ayo Fayoshe, speaking at PDP Governor's Forum. He started by attacking the media. That's the normal target. Watch. The beautiful speeches, uh, representations, statements made there today. I will not be surprised when you read them in the papers tomorrow, talked inside the paper. <laughs> this man makes front page news of newspapers every day. In fact, when he doesn't get the front page, he buys the front page and put, uh, put his own adverts. But he's complaining about the media. Uh, the media, they won't report what he's saying. <laughs> Watch again, he went on to lament more. 
even if I make my opinion known, they will not publish it. But in my own case, I will keep talking. And I will not stop. <laughs> he said, they will not publish me. They will not publish me. Eh? He kept talking and talking and talking about him. I will never stop talking. <laughs> Let us hear more of him. And I enjoy when you write about me because you are making me popular and preparing me ahead. Wow. He said, when you write about me, you are making me popular. Eh? You see, these people enjoy it when we talk about them. Yeah? So when I tell you people that this in Jackery is something they enjoy, even Jonathan, I know he's sitting down laughing. <laughs> They're talking about me again. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> watch, watch why you said still talking. And to my surprise, do they want presidency by deception? By lies? That alone, if I were them, I would step down General Buhari. If anybody has shame, you will know clearly that that was an embarrassment. And since that time, they can't talk again because I got them here. Yeah. They were caught in the act. There was no hiding place for them. Now, 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 this man, this is the man who was caught on tape plotting to rig election, AKT election. Eh? And that brought him to power. And he's talking about, he had the other city to talk about shame about deceit, about lies. That's, that's politics for you. Watch him, more of him. I'm not after General Buhari, he's my father. Anybody who is the age of your mother is your father. Wow, he went on and threw his mom under the bus. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, the comedians are running your country. They are comedians, all of them. He talked about Buhari, Buhari, he said, he said that Buhari is too old to govern the country. That he, the, mom, the mom is wearing diapers. <laughs> I hope he's going to show us the diaper the mom is wearing. If he has to prove to us that, anyway, what am I saying? I used to think that the man is just provoking discussion. But no, he enjoys the sound of his voice. Watch him. A lot of people who are over 70 are now wearing pampas. What are we talking about? Nigerians must not be misled. They must vote for people. Sorry, sir. They must vote for people that have the capacity, mental ability. If Fireshare's father had withdrawn on time, we won't be subjected to all this talk from him. Of course. Oh, okay. <laughs> Aha! Yes, yes, yes. I just want to know that you guys got it. Have you noticed that since Buhari came back, he has been taking things easy? He's not jogging in the morning anymore. <laughs> he's not holding the big political events. He just goes where his car will take him. The rumor is that money don't finish. APC is broke. Yeah, that's what's happening. I, I'm telling you. Governor Mechi is not bringing in money anymore. And uh, because the states are squeezed. Uh, Fashola, nothing. Because, because Ngo Baby made sure that the states are now, especially all these APC states, they don't have money. What of Tinubu? Tinubu is not bringing out money either. Something about AIT and EFCC is new determination. <laughs> after watching that documentary, he said, ah, I have to be careful now. They are, after, they are watching me. <laughs> so, so Buhari can, he can only go where his car will take him to. And that's the plan of this postponement. Now, for PDP to win, this is what will happen. They have to fire Jega, yes. abolish the card reader, disqualify Buhari, and have the assistant inspector general Mbo in Lagos yes. kill any Lagosian who will say no to him. That is their secret to winning. Now, now, elections are wonderful. Have you noticed that since uh, this election thing started that uh, Jonathan has not traveled? He has been home. He hasn't gone anywhere in the last in the last few weeks. This is the longest he has been in the country since he became president. I think we should have elections every two weeks. <laughs> Keep him at home. This is a segment we call Secrets of Picture. Yes, yes. This is where it's based on the premise that a picture is worth more than a thousand words. Now, the picture you are looking at is that of President Jonathan sitting down while several Ogun Obas in the southwest 
we are praying for him. Now, for this election, he is leaving nothing to chances. No, nothing. No, no, he's not taking any chance. He wants to cover all the possibilities. Oh, he has prayed to Jesus, and Jesus had listened to him, and Jesus oh. signed off and said, I can't deal with this one. Okay, like, he has wow. gone to Jerusalem. You know, you saw him there. He was saying, and, and they asked him, what are you saying? What are you saying? <laughs> What are you seeing? <laughs> Apparently, he didn't like what he saw. So he wants, he's interested in covering all grounds. So now he's talking to Esho and Shango and Dogun. He, he wants to make sure that all oh, that option is also taken care of, just in case. <laughs> and still going to kill yeah. Do you think that they gave him a shell of a tortoise to put around his waist? You know, in Nigeria, everything is possible. Anything is possible, I'm telling you. One, we can check one day. Now, uh, the Ghanaian president the other day shocked the citizens of Ghana, when he said that he had a dead goat syndrome. Oh yeah, dead, dead goat, goat syndrome. syndrome. What the? I, I don't know, watch. And uh, it is said that when you kill the goat and you frighten it with a knife, it doesn't fear the knife because it's dead already. So I have the dead goat syndrome <laughs> going forward. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're thinking, another African president, another goat analogy, you know. But these are the great opportunities for an innovative African writer to write our own novel, our own 1984. But instead of using pigs, he should use uh, goats. Eh? Not all goats are stupid and dumb. No, it's not all of them. You may look at. Watch this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But... Oh yeah, don't play with some goats. Now, here are some stories making headline news across Nigerian newspapers this week. Morocco says Jonathan lied against their king. Oh no. Oh yeah, and they recalled the ambassador from Nigeria. Oh. I tell you, I tell you, this conspiracy against Jonathan is beyond Nigeria. Yes. Huh? Even Morocco is, is, has joined APC. Huh? To fear what? <laughs> There's trouble, yeah. EFCC to arraign Bukola Saraki's ex and cousin for 371 million contract wow. scam. You see, you see, these people in the EFCC, they are not serious. Uh -uh. Eh? The ocean of corruption, Mr. Saraki himself, is facing them and they are picking buckets of water from picking up small, small boys. Imagine. Why can't you go after the main man? He has no immunity. Now that Obani Koro is confirmed as a minister, isn't it time for Jonathan to apologize to Stella Odua? Yes. Yeah, it's about I'm bring I'm bring her back as a minister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The smell, stupid. <laughs> Buhari can't fight corruption. He's lying. Say the PDP governors. You know they had a meeting and said that Buhari cannot fight corruption. That he's lying. No, no, no. I I, I believe them. I believe them. They know what they are talking about. They are the corruption we are talking about. And they know Buhari cannot fight them. <laughs> Chibok girls, we want our children back, not rebuilding bond school. <laughs> you see, these are the parents saying, if I had said the same thing, they would have said, oh, they are paying you, APC is paying you. They, I'm happy, they are talking, you know. The same, the yeah, the parents. External reserves fall by three billion in four weeks. Wow. Three billion, go baby, go baby, well, three billion of our money. Now, now mark, my, mark my words, eh? on, on May 29th, the new president, We'll be scraping the bottom of the pot and nothing, no more money, coins. What will be left in our external reserve will be coins. Coins. <laughs> I know, I know. I hate violence, says Patience Jonathan. <laughs> African woman. No, 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 no. Whatever, whoever told her that I, what ICC means, she would tell her about her violence against the English language. <laughs> She, she causes violence, English language, whenever she's speaking, oh, she's killing me. <laughs> <laughs> Subject to verb agreement. <laughs> you will never be a wolowo, but the judge tells Tinubu. <laughs> no, 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 no. This for the first time I agree with Body Judge. Eh? And and Body Judge, Body Judge, yeah. You will never be a nini, no matter how much you steal. You can't get to that level. I'm telling you, keep stealing, but not to that level. Nonsense. Jonathan was never ready. 
I single-handedly called war on Boko Haram, says Idris Debi, the, the president of Chad. Yeah? Um, you see, this man, na, na, APC troublemaker, they, all of them, they've surrounded the country. All these APC people, they are terrible. <laughs> Wait for your turn in 2019, presidency tells not. They are telling Netherlands to wait, wait until 2019. But, but, but wait a minute, wait, wait. Bro, bro, bro Jonah, didn't you tell your Igbo brothers that you will hand over to Pito B? They've been warming up and dancing that Pito B will take over from you. Why are you telling it? What are you. The <laughs> 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 uh, APC brought Buhari in like a thief in the night, says Fayoshe. Now, 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 no, my guess is this, that Fayoshe uh, had his witch doctors and snipers waiting for, for Buhari. <laughs> he didn't know when Buhari came in. So he's so pissed off and he's saying they brought him in there. I said, did that make sense? <laughs> so thank you guys for putting into our competition uh, the, the riddle about a Tuoke zoologist mm -hmm. who needs to cross the river with the lion and the, the yam and the, what's the name of the other animal? <laughs> The lion, the yam, and the goat. Yes, yes. <laughs> so we got a lot of entries. So many of mm -hmm. you, about 100 and something, I don't know, 200, I don't know. Mm -hmm. it was, the email was filled up. But anyway, filled so up. we went through them, and uh, we have your names here in this basket, you know. So tomorrow to just, we pick the winner. The winner of our $57. You know, what it, you know what it is in Naira? Can you is calculate that? Yeah? 57 so, um, so when you count of three, tomorrow to just we pick the winner. One, I will two, close my eyes. Close your eyes. Don't pick one of your friends. <laughs> make, sure, make sure people know that you, you, you didn't. 11,300. Okay. 11,000. Oh, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Yeah. That's enough you to see, buy. See, my eyes pieces. are closed though. Okay. All right. Pick one. Pick one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And the winner is. Hey! Wow. Olu Benga. Uh, Olu Olatunji. Olatunji. That's Olu all. Benga Olatunji. Yes. You won the you money. Won the, you won Come the money. Get your money. Congratulations. Hey. We, are, we are going to we are going to write to you and you give us details about your where you are in the world and we we'll mm. send you the money. Too much mm. to just thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, we, are, we are going to do more of this next time when we start getting the money from all these well, we uh, advertisers. Money. Yeah. So <laughs> anyway, so. Uh, thank you so much. It's now time for your email. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for your email. Do we have emails today? Every day, doctor. Uh, what, what? New hairdo? Uh, wow. What? Is this a Chinese or Korean? Where is this no, one it's from? Brazilian. Ooh, ah, la get la. your facts straight. Don't you this, see the curls? These ones are expensive. <laughs> My paycheck went in this one. All right, let's hear the emails. Oh, I can't. Okay. It's, it's for you guys. She did it for you. Uh -huh. yeah, you. If you say so. You. If you say so. I told you she would do it. Next, go yeah. ahead. I'll pray for you. <laughs> Our first email is from MEO. She writes, Dear Dr. Damages, I still cannot hear anybody talking about the real issues in this election. The real issues are so many, and we are beating around the bush. Nigerians are the most educated foreigners in USA and Europe, yet we cannot unite and organize ourselves to solve the mess we are in, and we worship the white man's God, and we question nothing. We are so stupid. We are still living in slavery and colonization, even though we are ruling ourselves. We should put the issues on the table and clear the mess we are in. The earlier, the better. Nigerians are the first to say they are professions and say they are doctors, professors, and engineers, or they have a master's degree. Why can't we put our house in order? My husband said we talk too much. We do nothing. Shame on all you educated doctors and professors who have let the thieves rule for so long. Wow. This, hey, this woman finished. Who is this again? She finished us. M-E-O. What's, what's her name? M-E-O. Wow. Hey, M-E-O. You finished hey. Nigerians. Tall Nigerians. Mm. Tall. <laughs> <laughs> now, what can I say? But this, the only thing I can say is to repeat what she said. Hmm. Unite, organize, and stop worshipping other people's God. Hmm. And question everything. Hmm. That's the secret of success, my people. Hmm. That's it. Hmm. Unite, yeah. organize, stop worshipping other people's God, and question, question everything. 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 Next. Hmm. Okay. So, so I need to know her number. <laughs> M-E-O. <laughs> hey. Wow. Our second email is from Victor Adeyemo in Enoa, Vietnam. 
Hanoi. Hanoi. Yeah. Okay, yeah, Hanoi. Yeah, yeah. Vietnam. Hanoi. Okay. He right. Hello, doctor. I have applied for a new international passport since December. And to date, we have not heard from the embassy. They won't even pick up calls when you call them. And I noticed that the Nigerian embassies are like that worldwide. <laughs> help talking. us diagnose what is happening in that aspect. Mm -hmm. And help diagnose Dr. Bukolash <laughs> Sarik, Saraki. Sa Saraki, oh. Saraki ah, of Kwara yeah. State. Ah, yeah, yeah. As I have my medical record on him. <laughs> to be the most corrupt senator <laughs> at the same time, acting governor. Yeah, 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 hmm. yeah. Now, now, my man, here is a solution for you. And everyone who is having tough time. With any hmm. Nigerian embassy anywhere in the world, do what Mio said in her first email. Hmm. Unite, organize, stop worshipping other people's God, question. and question everything. Mm -hmm. That's it. You have to organize. Mm -hmm. I, I, we've been complaining about this from New York to, <coughs> to Hawaii to wherever we have embassies. The same story. Hmm. Why can't you people organize? Do something. Do something. We, we, we need to do hmm. something. Now about Saraki. You know, Saraki is just like the Bola Tinubu of Kwara State. Eh? Yeah, he is the Bola Tinubu of Kwara State. Hmm. And I'm sure that AIT is working on a documentary on him. So let's let's <laughs> wait. <laughs> Next. Our third email is from Thomas Noro. <laughs> in Enugu, Nigeria. <laughs> okay, okay, good. He writes, Hi, Dr. Damages. Happy birthday. Oh, this is my you, first man. message. Since I first saw your show on YouTube, oh. I've been really endeared to it. Thumbs up and keep up the good work. I just pray you won't start talking like our men of God when those APC, I'm um, sorry, PDP people start coming with money and political appointments. Meanwhile, for your information here in the eastern parts of the country, we believe that Jonathan is corrupt, but Buhari is not an option. Miss Tomato, please, where are you from? Because it's only an Igbo girl that look as stunning as you are. I'm expecting your answer. Oh. Hey! Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> Um, um, my friend Thomas, uh, thank you for your email uh, and, for, and, and for explaining this position of the people in the eastern part of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. If you say that Jonathan is bad, but Buhari is not an option, hmm. I take it that you rather choose bad. <laughs> is, that, is that what you want? You know, you know. But but it's good you you let people know what you think. You know, that's that's what we have this show for. It's express your opinion. Let people hear that. Mm -hmm. About Timothy just what did he, what did he say about you? <laughs> You don't know anything. Don't worry. I will tell you tomorrow. Next time. There's nothing to tell. Next time I will tell you. <laughs> Next. Our fourth email is from Patrick Okonko in Stellenbosch, South Africa. Mm -hmm. He writes, mm, Okonko. Mm. He, that he, name sounds very he, familiar. familiar. I think I know somebody too, who, uh, but we, hmm. we'll check out. Somebody yeah, around this area. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dear Dr. Damages and the ever-ravishing ah. Nurse TJ, hey, hey. hey, I like your show because within all the injury, you leave wise words and food for thought for those who can discern. I have a lot to say about Nigeria, but we are in an election season, so I will focus only on the elections. My main concern is that Professor Jega will be removed as INEC chairman no. to, to cause confusion. No, it's not gonna happen. To cause confusion and nothing will happen. Mm -hmm. This appears to be President Jonathan's last joker. Wow. The evil forces that hold our nation bondage are not going to let GMB get the presidency. And Nigerians are not prepared to take back their country. We are either settling ethnic scores or leaving it to God since 1914. <laughs> My concern for this week is taken from the words of Joseph Stalin. That's yes, a concern. Uh, uh, wait. <laughs> Paragraph 419. What? It says, those who vote decide nothing. Those who count the votes decide everything. Wow. I like this guy. Hmm. Thank you, Patrick. Yeah. Stalin. I, I, I you know agree with Stalin? your concern. Hey. Yeah? Those who vote decide nothing. Hmm. Those who count the votes they decide everything. Hmm. Remember that, folks, and protect your <laughs> votes. Protect your votes. Hmm. Next. So I should be counting the votes. <laughs> yeah, that's where the money is. <laughs> that, that's where the money is. Choo -choo. Yeah, the voting okay. is nothing. Yeah. Our fifth email is from Marcel. He writes, Hello, doctor. This year claim that you are qualified from John Hopkins cannot be verified. Huh? Is it from... I'm, I'm just reading the emails, so though. I'm reading. Is it from the backyard of our president, Jonah, whose PhD thesis cannot be verified? Or did you qualify from one of the um, al Majere schools, which Jonah built? And Jackery, you and Jonah are in the same boat. You are likely to be appointed by Jonah as the next minister of health in Otuoke. Yes. I cannot wait to see this happen. But remember, if GMB wins, 
I will close the border and not allow you into Niger. I want to ask, what type of doctor are you? Doctors treat people, but your own is to diagnose without treatment. I still love you though, but uh, I have diagnosed a diagnosis for you. And please hit me up so you can find out. Uh, it's confidential. What? Inbox them. <laughs> Inbox. Uh, let, let me let me say this. I keep hearing people bringing this issue about appointments that mm -hmm. I might be appointed to a position. Mm -hmm. Let me explain this once and for all. I am Doctor on Jackery Damages, mm. not Doctor Ruben Abat. Mm. Eh? If nominated, I will not accept. Mm. If elected, I will not serve. Mm. If appointed, I will not accept. Mm. So I don't want to hear this anymore. I'm not looking for any political appointment. You are the doctor. I'm a doctor here. Ha. I have my office. Eh? Next. <laughs> Our final email is from Habib. He writes, Doctor Damages. I try most of the time available to me not to miss any of your weekly shows. I must say, you're doing a good job. Keep it up. However, <laughs> whenever they say <laughs> however, all the other things they said before <laughs> don't matter. Yawa, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. However, however, I heard from your previous shows <laughs> the long awaited sighting of Tomato Justice behind, which oh. I, hey, <laughs> you know better. Habib! <laughs> Habib! Okay. Hey! Okay. The longer waiting sighting of Tomato Justice Behind, which I also was interested in. I actually missed a glimpse of it. Please advise me on the particular episode <laughs> so I can backtrack. <laughs> I would love to meet you someday. Hopefully my next trip to New York, Tomato Just. Oh, thank you, my man. So thank you, you want Habib. you want for backtrack the back yeah. anyway. <laughs> Habib, thank you so much. You know. This is when people ask, why do oh they hate us? Why gosh. is it that Boko Haram and uh, ISIS? This is why. <laughs> but anyway, we will be here when you come to New York to mm -hmm. visit us. And, and um, all the welcome. people, we are welcome. Yeah. We, mm -hmm. What? What else? What else? We're here. Tomato Just is here. Mm -hmm. And um, everything will be all right. Uh, I cannot help you with finding the, the clip or the episode. You can keep watching until you find it. <laughs> That's all the time we have for emails. Please keep sending your emails to Dr. Damages at gmail.com And follow us on Twitter at Dr. Damages Here is my concern for today. It's taken from page 419 of the book African Proverbs for Congolese born in Congo but who grew up in South Africa What? <laughs> That's the title of the book. I didn't make it up. I know a girl that can read <laughs> And it says hmm. If the rat joins the lizard hmm. in getting wet when the lizard is dry the rat may not dry. It's deep. It's not about rat and lizard. I'm talking about something deeper mm. than that. Until next week, I'm Dr. Damages. I diagnose. You heal yourself. Woo! Woo! You know, it's, I have it's, to. I'm, I'm really trying to About comprehend. getting wet and being dry. No, I'm trying to comprehend the message behind that. Oh, that if you do something because I'm doing it, you mm -hmm. might be in trouble. Like... That's why I don't dance like this. And like then you a, won't get like in keeping trouble. Real. But I might. You might get, get in trouble. trouble. Yeah. Uh, if I start doing what keeping it real does, I'll be in trouble. You know, I, uh, things will be mm, terrible. Like yeah. chopping people's money. <laughs> yeah, chopping.